Today you're going to learn how to make this fancy text reveal in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is a super sleek cinematic effect, great for travel vlogs and music videos. So without further ado, let's get this party started. Cineguac. So let's begin by dragging our video clip onto the timeline. First thing you want to do is head over to the pen tool, click, hold, and select the rectangle tool. Once you've done that, head up to your playback monitor, and click and drag to create a long, skinny rectangle. You can make this any size or length that you want. This looks about right. Let's just head over to the shape options in our effects control panel, and drop this little arrow down. Here we can change the color to whatever we want. I'm just going to make this solid white, and hit OK. Once we have the line looking the way that we want, let's just go to our selection tool, and drag this shape so that it looks a bit more centered. It doesn't have to be perfect, we can adjust this later on if we have to. I'll get to that in just a moment. Once our shape is positioned in frame, head over to the effects library, and search for an effect called transform. You'll find that in your video effects distort subfolder, and drag the transform effect to your graphic layer. Then, with the playhead at the very first frame, move down to your transform options and uncheck this little uniform scale box. Now, we're able to freely adjust the width of our line. So, let's drag the width value down to 0, and set a keyframe right there. Then we can skip ahead just a couple frames and set another keyframe for 100. Right-click your second keyframe and select Ease In. That way the line will come to a slow, smooth stop. And when we play that through, now we have an animated line on screen. So let's just find a point in which we want our text to slide onto screen. It should begin to animate on a couple frames before the line is fully visible. Right here looks pretty good. And again, we can always tweak the timing later on if we have to. Let's head back to the timeline and deselect the graphic layer so that we can create a new text layer. Head over to your type tool, or just hit T on the keyboard. And right above the line we created, let's click and type whatever we want. Since this was shot in Santa Barbara, California, let's write Santa Barbara. Then, with our text selected, we can move over to our text options in the effects control panel. And here we can change the font. Let's change this to Babes New. And we can increase the spacing between the letters. And, of course, the size. Once you're done, go back to your selection tool and adjust the positioning of your title. This will be the approximate landing position. Let's go back to the Effect Controls panel, and condense the text options. Then head down to your Opacity settings, and select this little 4-point polygon mask option. This will create a blue mask which you can drag around. Now, the goal here is to position the top line of the square right above the white line that we created. Let's stretch this out to the other side. Do your best to make sure that the mask is straight on the top. This is the little invisible box where our title is going to emerge from. And we can just go back to our mask settings and increase the feather slightly. 15 is about right. And then hit the inverted button which will make our title pop onto screen. So now when we head over to the vector motion and move the vertical position of our title, it will disappear into the mask that we just created. And we can set a keyframe for the position right there. Then we can just jump ahead a few frames and make a new keyframe by sliding the title back to its final landing position. Right about there looks good. And just like before, we can right-click the keyframe, go to Temporal Interpolation, and select Ease In so it comes to a smooth stop. Play that through, and we now have this beautiful animation pop on the screen. Now we want the title to animate off screen. So what we do is pretty much the exact same thing we just did, only in reverse. Let's extend these graphics a bit and find a point where we want the title to begin animating out. Select the title layer and set a new keyframe for its current position. Jump ahead just a couple frames. I'm just hitting the right arrow on my keyboard and drag the vertical positioning down until it completely disappears. Now let's find the point where we want the line to begin animating out. Right here looks pretty good, so let's select the line graphic, and set a new keyframe for the current position. Move ahead a couple frames, and set the scale width back to zero. Play all that through, and there you have it. And of course, if you want to toggle the timing or speed in which it all animates in or out, 
you can slide the text over a little bit, or just head back up to your effect controls panel and toggle the keyframes right or left until it looks perfect. And if you want to quickly adjust the overall position or scale of the entire thing, you can highlight both the title and the line, right click, and select Nest. Let's call it Text Reveal. Hit OK. And now we have one consolidated graphic that we can manipulate as a whole. So we can just drag it over a bit, increase the scale, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, these tutorials take a long time to put together, so show me some love and hit that subscribe button. I also just started a Patreon with a link in the description, so you can contribute and make sure I continue making awesome videos. And of course, I offer shoutouts, credit, and even one-on-one -on -one tech support in case you have any questions. See you next time.